Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today, I wanna to tell you why I'm buying some more Elf Beauty stock. If you're a follower of the channel, then you know I've bought this stock twice before. Today, I'm coming back for a third helping. And if you're following the stock itself, you know that it's gone off a cliff recently. Today, we've got a lot better valuation. So in this video, I wanna tell you why I'm buying more Elf stock. All right guys, so Elf Beauty is trading on the New York Stock Exchange under the ticker Elf, E-L-F. It's a global beauty brand focusing on eyes, lips, and face. In fact, that's the acronym Elf, eyes, lips, face. And it's their growth is driven by both organic expansion and strategic acquisitions. When it comes to organic growth, they've got major product lines that include Elf Cosmetics, Elf Skin, but they're also making acquisitions like clean beauty brand Well People, Well W3LL, Well People, partnerships like Alicia Keys, Keys Soul Care, and they've had some recent achievements. Elf Cosmetics has become, guys, the second most popular cosmetics brand by Dollar Share, and they're the top beauty brand in Target stores nationwide. Elf Skin is rapidly gaining market share, growing 32 times faster than the general skincare category, 1.4% year-over-year growth. Uh, financial performance is strong. And guys, I want to tell you the three reasons, but look at their financial performance. Consistent, consistent positive free cash flow since its 2016 IPO due to low capital expenditure and strong growth. They also had a re recent acquisition of Naturium, and that demonstrates their strategy of leveraging cash flows for strategic growth. Okay, here are the three main reasons, guys, that I'm adding Elf Beauty, or I'm adding more Elf Beauty to my portfolio. And the number one reason, guys, is strong organic growth. Elf Cosmetics, Elf Skin, driving impressive financial performance, and the Naturium acquisition that we were talking about has already shown success, bolstered by a large distribution deal with Ulta Beauty. Okay, the number two reason I'm buying the stock is broadening appeal. Originally, this stock was just popular, this brand was only popular with Gen Z, but now it's gaining traction across multiple generations. Unaided brand aware awareness has risen to 33%, nearing well-established competitors like L'Oreal, which is at 39%, Maybelline at 55%, and that's all despite only being around for 20 years compared to the competitors' 100-plus year legacies. All right, so number one reason, strong organic growth. Number two, broadening appeal. Number three, they've got an innovative marketing strategy. Now, I've mentioned this in my other videos, but it's still true. They're known for cutting edge marketing, often the first to adopt emerging platforms and trends. For example, they were the first beauty brand to test real world commerce via virtual world purchasing. They were the leading branded experience on Roblox with over 14 million plays. By the way, Roblox, another great stock, something else that I've bought on this channel. The marketing team's agility ensures that they remain at the forefront of new platforms and new trends. Okay, and all that comes with, look at the metrics. Recent quarterly revenue growth is at 50%, signaling strong momentum despite a slowdown from previous quarter's growth. Now guys, this is, I think this is one of the main reasons that the stock is collapsing. Recent, recent quarter's growth rates were 70%, 76%, even 85%. Last quarter, only 50% but we've got to be aware that the beauty industry is cyclical. So keep an eye on maintaining their above industry average growth. It's not enough just to look at growth on its own. You have to compare it to the competitors. You have to see the industry average. Are they maintaining that gap above their competitors? So who is this stock ideal for, right? Well, obviously it's ideal for me, uh, for my portfolio but it's ideal for anybody that would consider themselves a high growth investor that's willing to embrace some volatility and you're seeing that volatility right now as the stock is plummeting. But again, for us crazy investors out there, we're seeing this as an opportunity. Investors with a long time horizon, that's who this stock is for. You gotta have a long time horizon. Five or more years is what I tell people. 
Okay, this is who the stock's not for. If you're seeking immediate stable gain with little to no volatility, don't buy ELF stock. If you're looking for passive income through dividends in the short term, don't buy ELF stock, all right? It's an aggressive buy for me. I'm excited about ELF, excited where it's going, but it may be five years before I get my payout. Anyway, guys, that is all for today's video. I hope you really enjoyed it. If you did, leave a big thumbs up to support the channel. And guys, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think about ELF Beauty. A lot of people saying, man, are you, are you still... But on my last video, there was a lot of people saying, are, are you still like proud that you bought ELF? Because it's going to, yes, I love the company. Realize I'm not here for the short term. I'm here for the long term, okay? A 30% drop doesn't scare me. If it's a good company, if it has good fundamentals, it's going to bounce back and you can take this opportunity to get some more at a discounted rate. Anyway, guys. Hope you all enjoyed the video. Leave a like, leave a comment, and subscribe for more videos like this. I'll see you again tomorrow with another video. Peace.